here we are. This is number 14 on our chapter 5 review. And what we have here is we have an exponential function that we have to solve. The reason that it's an exponential function is because our x is in our exponent. And so we are going to have to solve that. The first thing that we want to do is we want to get rid of that negative 3. And so we want to have 4 raised to the 2x minus 2. And we are going to add 3 to both sides. And when I do that, I get 64. So I have 4 raised to the power of 2x minus 2 on the left, and on the right, I have 64. So now, I want to see, can I rewrite that 64 in terms of 4? Is that something that I can do? So 4 to what power is going to equal 64? Now, I can't always do this, but any time that I think I might be able to, this is the better way to do it. So I'm going to think about 4 to the first power. We know that 4 to the first power is 4. 4 to the second power is 16. And 4 to the third power is 64. Okay? So, 4 to the third power is the same thing as 64. So, I can rewrite 64 as 4 to the third power. Now, we have a property that tells me that when my bases are the same, so my bases here are both 4, then my exponents are equal to each other. So, I can rewrite this as 2x minus 2 equals 3. Okay, at this point, I just solve. So I have 2x plus 2. I'm going to add 2 to both sides, and I get 2x equals 5. And then I divide both sides by 2. And so my answer here is x equals 5 over 2. Now, I want you guys always to remember to do the check. You always want to do the check to make sure that you are on the right path.